Two units of fully electric buses were inaugurated by the Department of Energy or DOE early this morning, June 7. These buses will initially be used by the employees of the department as their shuttle. However, the department will also conduct a study to determine if the e-buses could be efficiently utilized for public transportation. Energy Secretary Rafael Lutilia stated that the government aims to promote e-vehicles as they emit fewer greenhouse gases. Additionally, through this initiative, the automotive industry will no longer need to depend on the supply of energy from fossil fuels. We hope that therefore our dependence on, uh, on uh, fossil fuels will be reduced and the, uh, the electric uh, consumption of the country from electric vehicles will also increase with the increased use of renewable energy in the country. The company supplying the e-buses is confident that their units can be used even on steep roads. Based on their study, the e-bus can run up to 200 kilometers on a full battery and its charging time from 0 to 100 percent will take less than 3 hours. Power-wise, electric vehicles are more powerful than ICE. Uh, it basically has uh, one motor or, or how do I explain? Yung, yung technology ng electric vehicles, meron siyang magnet. So there's two magnets. And basically, the magnet, when you, you, re when you turn on a magnet, it repels on each other. So imagine mo na nag-on off siya ng mabilis. Electric vehicles are more powerful, especially going uphill. And that's going to be very useful. Apart from the e-buses, the DOE also inaugurated an electric vehicle charging station at their motor pool in Taguig City. Secretary Lutilia Express hoped that they will build more charging stations across the country to encourage vehicle owners to shift to electric vehicles. The department is actively exploring ways to develop more renewable sources of energy to ensure the stability of the electric vehicle industry. JP Nunez, UNTV, News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.